10. The protests continue for a second night following yesterday's fatal police shooting of a Lancaster man who ran toward an officer holding a knife. Good evening, I'm Danielle Woods. I'm Janelle Stelson. The shooting of 27-year-old Ricardo Munoz was captured on a Lancaster police officer's body camera. Police say the video clearly shows Munoz running at the officer with the knife up before the officer shot him yesterday. This is on the 300 block of Laurel Street. And tonight, demonstrators are back out in front of the police station on Chestnut Street in downtown Lancaster. WGAL News 8's Mike Hostetler is there and joins us live with the situation right now, Mike. It's a much different scene outside police headquarters here in Lancaster tonight. A uh, very peaceful gathering here of demonstrators. I would guess the crowd somewhere between about 120, maybe 140 people. And uh, no police presence on the ground. There's uh, some police watching from the rooftop. They also have a drone flying overhead, but this is in direct contrast to last night when the demonstration got a little out of hand and windows were broken in some of the surrounding buildings. Folks here, uh, this is the, uh, the site where they've been protesting on and off now for weeks and uh, a lot of uh, demonstrators carrying signs but a very peaceful gathering here right now in Lancaster. There have been calls for the police to come out and join them for dialogue, but at this time the police are keeping their distance and the demonstration remains very peaceful. Reporting live from downtown Lancaster, Mike Hostetler, WGAL News 8.